Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to London's West End. And on stage tonight, the cream of British comedy, including Eddie Izzard, Joe Brand, Rob Newman, Sean Hughes, and Steve Coogan. All asking, what's up, doggers? I'm very honoured and pleased to be here tonight to support the Dockers tonight, because... It's all right, it's gone now. No, I'm very pleased, because they're not paying us, like, but the Dockers have been very kind. They've given us just little gifts to show that they're the loyalty, lovely. I got a couple of stereos off uh, one of them. Uh, two front wings for a Ford Escort. They said, whenever I'm in Liverpool, if I want any electrical equipment, come isn't that lovely? It's marvellous. But, uh, no, do you know, because people think that like, I'm not, like, political. But I am, you know, like, because I think, like, you know, I'm, I, people say that I'm a sexist, but I'm not. I, I'm a rad radical feminist. I, I think you've got to be these days, you know. If you want to get your end away. <laughs> so, so fuck, I'm a feminist. But, uh, but you know, I know, I know it's not, it's not how, how a woman is on the outside, it's how, how she's on the, how, on the inside. It's a personality. That's what counts, you know. And, and if they've got big tits, that's a bonus. <laughs> but, isn't it? You know, because, you know, oh, Joe, I love Mel Melinda Messenger. She's lovely, she's so curvy, eh? Lovely, not much upstairs, you know, but who wants to shag Bamba Gascoy? You know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, I, I have this dream, I have a terrible dream where I've got, like, Belinda Messenger and, and uh, Sam Fox and, and they're, both, they're both naked and they both said, take me, take me. And I can't decide. I've got to choose between them. Okay. In the end, I just have to toss. <laughs> I'll probably come down on the side of Belinda Messenger, I think. But I'm still without my bird, Julie. She's run off with Tony. Oh, Tony does this, Tony does that. Tony's got a fucking Ford Capri with go faster stripes and big fat spoiler on the back. Copycat. <laughs> but, I, <clears throat> but I've written a letter to Julie to try and get her back. I'll read it to you. So it says what you reckon. <clears throat> right. Dear Julie, I can't stop thinking about you. We had some good times and some bad times. Do you remember when I was sick in the back of that taxi and he threw us out in the middle of the Peak District at two o'clock in the morning and all we had was half a can of lager? And there were bad times too. <laughs> like when we didn't have any lager at all. <laughs> Yesterday I found your boob tube in the boot of the Cortina. I remember the last time you wore it. It was the night I was set upon by five students and I fucking leathered the lot of them. <laughs> Why can't it always be like that? <laughs> I'll never forget that night. That look on your face, shagging in the back of my car. I wish it had been me. <laughs> I want you to know I will change. I'm trying to give up two of my worst habits, smoking and masturbation, <laughs> which I'm finding difficult as I'm a 20 a day man and I smoke like a chimney. <laughs> Well, that's all for me. Thanks, you've been really great. Sure. Sure.